Thank you. Okay, so it's five past six, so I think we're going to start. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, I want to introduce you to Ted Fisher. He is an American director, as you may read. He specializes in arts and cultural documentaries. And his short film has been screened uh, at over 30 festivals around the world. And he has produced um, a lot of stuff, uh, most of them documentary, I believe. And well, I think um, we, okay, I will let him talk just now. And uh, you want me to share your uh, PowerPoint, right? Is that right? Sure. Yeah. And um, if you, you have control. So if, if you can show that on the screen, I can talk. I could turn off my camera if that makes it easier. But the uh, reason I'm doing that, everybody, uh, not to be tricky, I, I uh, lost my internet today. It's out right now. Normally it works great. And we do a lot of Zoom meetings and it's easy. And uh, I'm doing this one on my phone, but I think we're going to make it work. So first, Thanks for everybody who came. I'm really interested to meet you. It's a little hard to meet you this way because I just see somebody's picture for about two seconds and then you're gone. Um, but when we get to questions, I'm really ho hoping everyone who's interested will ask questions. I uh, was asked to do this talk and uh, I do teach, so I'm pretty used to talking to students uh, and others, but I sat down for a minute and thought, well, what would I want to know if I were sort of in the position that all of you are? And it took me a couple minutes to go back into what I could remember. But also, I started, as I thought about it, realizing there are certain things that are different right now than any other time they've been in. So what I'm going to talk about today, I will uh, talk a little bit about how documentary, especially short documentary, is perceived. That's the area of the world I know I do work with students who do fiction and uh, various other experimental and art video, but I really love short documentaries. So of the things I make, that's the thing I make most often. And it's in a strange place right now. So I want to talk about how it's perceived. I want to talk about my history and what you might be able to learn from that. And the end section, which I think is most important, is the question, where are we going? You guys are all able to make things now, and there's a, a very interesting future ahead. But what does it mean? What's different? What should we be considering? Uh, are you guys able to hear okay? I, I see a little text popping. Is it audio okay? Oh, it's okay. Okay, good. I saw one yes on there. Okay, so if we can start the PDF, let's see if that works. And if you want. I know Zoom sometimes pops to the person who's talking, so maybe we'll just lock it on your screen. I, I can't hear you right now. <laughs> Turn it off. There you are. You're back. <laughs> Do you want me to share it just now? Yes, sure. All right. Okay, I think it's there. Can you see it? Okay, yes, you can. Great. Okay, so uh, my talk today is really focused on short documentary, but that's not the only thing you guys should take away from this. To me, this is uh, in connection to all sorts of work you might make at this point in your career. So my talk is called The Personal Jetpack, The Broken Slot Machine, and the Future of Documentary Shorts. Let's go to the next slide. Yeah. Okay, so if we can play the video, that would be great. I don't know if the PDF will let you, it may have to go to the link that I sent you. In 2016, there were uh, a number of documentaries that made over a million dollars in the theaters. And that's a good measurement. Documentary has been uh, up and down over the last 50 years. And right before that, people felt that documentary was not uh, financially making it as a theatrical distribution. 
and that was a good year and there were a few other good years and of course this year will not be a good year for documentaries and theaters um so i i only pay attention to that that's not my main focus i pay attention because it tells us what people want to see and what they're interested in and a lot of people have said documentary is now tv that's what it really is it's working best as i i don't agree so i was really interested do we have the video? I'd like to show a video of how the short documentary awards were announced in that year, if we can do that. Okay. Can you see my screen? I see your screen, but not the video. Okay. So, let me see here. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. All right, I don't know if we can hear it. I, I, I can't hear it on this end. Sorry? Uh, I can't hear it on this end. We may, Zoom might not let, it, let us hear it right now. Uh, I'll tell you guys what was said though. This is a, a, a comedian introducing the awards for the short documentary and he basically makes fun of it. He talks about how almost in all the other categories, everyone is a millionaire and even the documentary feature is a big deal and people make a lot of money from it but documentary short it he finds it very funny that the the academy award that's going to go home with one of the filmmakers is now the nicest thing they'll ever own and they're going to take it home in a cheap car and they're going to be very nervous to have this very expensive thing in their cheap apartment and it was very interesting to me to see this it was a funny moment and we'll we'll send the link around you can watch this uh, and see what you think of the attitude there but i really was struck by it watching this live that the idea that documentary short was somehow very important but also kind of funny that people would put so much effort into it i found that really really interesting and, and i i realized it is something that is unique about making short films and short documentaries is most of the time there is very little chance that will make money and there's also sort of a little bit of a laugh from society. So let's go to the next slide, and I hope you guys will get to see this video later. I, I think it's very interesting. I think it's also he tells it in a funny way. I think I can already share the audio as well. Okay, let's, okay, let's do it. I mean, I'm happy for all of you, but you came here winners, you're, you're leaving millionaires. It's not going to make that big a difference. Uh, here to present the award for best documentary short film, which is my favorite award. This is easily my favorite subject. It really is because this is the one Academy Award that has an opportunity to change a life. Because, I mean, I'm happy for all of you, but you came here winners and you're, you're leaving millionaires. It's not going to make that big a difference. The rest of the Oscars are going to mansions and the homes of people with good unions and who will always work. These people, this is documentary short film. You cannot. even documentary feature you know Al Gore got one of those and Michael Moore got this is no you cannot make a dime on this you these people will never be rich as long as they live so this Oscar means something because all they do is tell stories that are important now you all do but you also get rich but these people all they got is this Oscar is going home in a, in a Honda Civic <laughs> The person who owns this, this Oscar is going to be the nicest thing they ever own in their life. It's going to give them anxiety to keep it in their crappy apartment. 